Okay. Are we ready? Well, thanks for coming out today. Um, I used to be invited to give readings all the time. And then it just uh, stopped, just like that. And uh, I have a theory about why that happened. It's a simple one. Um, I think people just realize uh, I suck. <laughs> I mean, why shouldn't I, man? I mean, most poetry sucks. So, um, so I belong, huh? But anyway, you guys um, have uh, some other notion. Uh, and that's why you're here today, and I'm thankful, okay? Hey, social distancing. Don't touch her. All right? Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, well, thanks for having me in Busan. Uh, since this is not a college campus, um, I can drink a Guinness here, and uh, I gotta make sure the camera is running. Can't take anything for granted these days. Anyway, um, I haven't spoken in, in uh, English in a while. Been in South Korea for uh, two and a half months now, and uh, I talk to almost nobody since I don't speak Korean. Uh, so, hopefully you, you guys can understand my English tonight, all right? Okay. I'm gonna, uh, the first poem is called To Flee Conjugation. Uh, lugging my exploded home and trampling on my own name I trek to a yearn for deformation. Imperial chaos hacks flesh, sends the unmesh towards a capsized horizon. They dream of clean graphic design houses that don't collapse onto cribs. Invaded, the invaded invade, the invaders' kitchens and soon enough bedrooms. Look. They're invading each other. Shut up, smug face. You know nothing of ugliness, even that which you belong bankrolled. I wrote that maybe three years ago. One of my last poems. I'm out of poems. <laughs> uh, not, not yet, not tonight. See, you, you, don't get too uh, happy about that. You know, the, uh, isn't that the big joke? The last, the best line at any poetry at any poetry reading is, "This is my last poem." I have a few more tonight. You're stuck here, so you can't leave. Don't touch her. Okay, this one is called "Eating Fried Chicken." This costs like a three fifty. Not bad. I hate to admit this, brother, but there are times when I'm eating fried chicken, when I think about nothing else but eating fried chicken, when I utterly forget about my family, honor, and country, the various blood debts you owe me, my past humiliations, and my future crimes. Everything, in short, but the crispy skin on my fried chicken. But I'm not altogether evil. There are also times when I refuse to lick or swallow anything that's not generally available to mankind. Which is, when you think about it, absolutely nothing at all. And no doubt that's why apples can cause riots and meat brings humiliation. And each gasp of air will fill one's lungs with gunpowder and smoke. I wrote that word in Italy. Uh, because I couldn't get fried chicken in, in Italy. <laughs> Simple as that. And um, when I uh, say that, and that's why apples can cause riots. Um, the Italian word for apple is mele. So that's, that's the uh, suggestion. The language suggests that riots, okay? So, uh, okay man, uh, this is an old poem written maybe 30 years ago. 
How old am I? I'm 56. It's called Guide to Odors. So you know what it, what uh, each smell means, okay? So this is uh, remember these uh, what I, uh, the definitions I've given you. It's called Guide to Odors. Vinegar, fresh guilt, your mother-in-law, matured love, patriotism, sewage, scurvy, old men, solitude, sainthood. Turpentine, young men, a sweaty upper lips, vesicles. Cinnamon, sudden shame, a half-remembered dream, a strange bed, a town of 5,000. Urine, a city of 100,000, bar conversations. Garlic, attentive listening, a bus ride, a ridiculous hat, a drowsy face in a rain fleck window. Can tuna, the soul, menopause, foreigners. Accurate, pink model flash glimpse through clear plastic, a genius. Ammonia, accolades, a high-speed crash on a deserted highway. As you don't drink this uh, more expensive beer, uh, drink Cass, uh, the cheap Korean beer. The Cass really sucks. I'm sorry to say. Koreans drink so much beer, and yet they drink such shit beer. Cass sucks, Terra sucks, and Height. Height sucks too. Those are the three beers they drink, and they, and they all suck. I don't understand it. I mean, the food is good, but the beer sucks. You should go to Laos. Lao beer is the best, man. Seriously. For cheap, cheap beer, Lao beer kicks ass. Okay, this one is called the most beautiful word. I think vesicle is the most beautiful word in the English language. He was lying face down, his shirt burnt off, back steaming. I myself was bleeding. There was a harvest of vesicles on his back, his body wept. Yaw, maybe the ugliest. Don't say the bullet yaw inside the body, say the bullet dance inside the body. Say the bullet tumble forward and upward. Light slanted down, all the lesser muscles in my face twitched. I flipped my man over gently like an impatient lover, careful not to fracture his sea spine. Dominoes clank under crusty skin, clack, clack. A collapsed face stared up. There was a pink spray in the air, then a brief rainbow. The mandible was stitched with blue threads to the soul. I extracted a tooth from the tongue. He had swallowed the rest. My collected poems were supposed to uh, be called uh, Blue Threads to the Soul. And it was about to go to the printer. But Chax Press canceled it. They can do whatever they want. So I don't have a collected poems. I don't have any poems. Well, fuck it. Okay. Time for a commercial, huh? All right. Got to sell some stuff. Make a little money, huh? As soon as this uh, lockdown bullshit is over, I'm going to fly back to Southeast Asia. If I can't get back into Vietnam, I go to Laos so I can drink Lao beer, you know? I just go to Laos and drink Lao beer all the fucking time. Great fucking idea. Okay, commercial time. It's called Brand New Products. 
A vigilant gun that always picks out the right target, even if it's you, no matter who you are aiming at. A computer that listens and blows you as you blow it to your favorite tune. Meat that cleans your teeth as you masticating it. A truck so awesome only the President of the United States of America is allowed to careen in it to his own beat. A dictionary with positive adjectives only. A dictionary with no wet verbs. A dictionary with negotiable definitions. A dictionary that defines words by the antonyms. All the greatest hits from the last millennium performed live on stage on the inside of your state-of-the-art acoustically enhanced skull. A complete set of nude photos of you taken by you and so back to you at a discount. A sex doll with a mirror for a face. A sex doll with a PhD. A sex doll with adjustable skin tone. A sensitive sex doll that just wants to be friends. A platonic sex doll. Rain water in a bottle, sunshine in a box, and ambient sounds from a bus stop down the street recorded on a CD. A 24-hour video of what you did yesterday. A 24-hour video of what you will do tomorrow. A super realistic photo of what's outside your window pasted to your window. A baseball game that never ends to be played simultaneously with a football game that never ends. Cluster bombs that scatter copies of leaves of grass over a thousand mile radius for a thousand years. Landmines made with dough topped with mozzarella and all your favorite toppings. An airplane that never lands. And finally, your favorite fairy tale painted on your new plastic limbs. Okay, okay, don't get restless. Don't touch her, I tell you, man. Careful, social distancing. I deserve a second second can, all right? Okay, so this poem is called Vocab Lab. This word means yes, however, maybe or no, depending on the situation. This word means desire, love, friendship, rape, or a sudden urge to engage someone in a philosophical conversation. This word is unlearnable. It's meaning hermetic to all outsiders. It can neither be pronounced nor memorized. This word is protein and can be spelled an infinite number of ways. Its meaning, however, is exact. This word is also protein and may be used in place of any other word without loss of meaning. This word can only be hint at, imply, and thus appears in no books, not even in a dictionary. This word can neither be spoken nor seen. It can be freely written, however, but only in complete darkness. This word means one thing when spoken by a man, and another thing altogether different when said by a woman. This word means now, soon, or never, depending on the age of the speaker. This word means here, there, or nowhere, depending on the speaker's nationality. It has often been said 
that the natives will only teach foreigners a fake degraded language, a mock system of signs parodying the real language. It has also been said that the natives don't know their own language and must mimic the phony languages of foreigners to make sense out of their lives. Okay, the next poem is called Fish Eyes. I wrote this in Vietnam maybe 19 years ago, in Saigon. Fish Eyes. My son won't eat anything but fish eyes. At the fishmongers, if my wife wants to buy a sturgeon that has already lost a set of eyes, she would also have to ask for two eyes plucked from a catfish or even an eel, just so my son would have his fish eyes that evening. At home, these eyes are inserted into their new sockets. If a boy who eats chicken legs all the time will most likely turn into a drunkard, and a boy who eats chicken wings will become a poet, what will become of my son, who never eats anything but fish eyes? Okay, uh, the last poem, which is also about my son, <laughs> the one I don't have. <laughs> okay, Carnal Habits. Black-faced gorilla, hidden in crevice, fuzzy with hair. Diagram of uterus, flooded with the blood of a tiger. Fury channels conceal inside a small town's pair of jeans. A great mind must wait a thousand years to be squirted from the top of the meat tower. Crawl, son. Crawl to me. Okay, that's it. It's getting late. Thanks for coming out. Uh, it's time for some fried chicken and beer, I think. So, um, again, I really appreciate you guys giving me this chance to share uh, some of my poems. And, um, well... Okay, thanks again.